Hello, welcome to Prejim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 36, Delegates. In this session, we will learn the basics of delegates. In the previous sessions, we have learned about structures, classes and interfaces. We know that structures are value types, whereas classes and interfaces are reference types. Similarly, delegates are also reference types. Now, delegates is one of the complicated subjects in any of the programming languages. But trust me, if you get the basics right, delegates are extremely easy and you will love to work with them. In fact, when I was learning delegates, I was like, what the hell, why do we use this? These are so complicated. But then, once I realized the flexibility they provide us with, you know, they are, I love to work with them right now. Okay, so let's get our, you know, hands around the basics in this session and in a later session we'll actually see how to apply this, um, uh, you know, delegates to solve some real-time business problems. Okay, let's look at an example. Now, what's a delegate? A delegate is a function pointer. Actually, a delegate is a type safe function pointer. So, this is the actual definition of a delegate. A delegate is a type safe function pointer, meaning a delegate points to a function and then when you invoke this delegate, the function will be invoked. Now you'll be wondering, why do you have to create a delegate, make, make it point to a function and then invoke the delegate? Why don't you call the function directly? Now the reason why we have to do it in that way is because of the flexibility that we will get with that approach. Okay, that's what we'll examine in a later session, but in this session, we'll only concentrate on the basics of delegates. So once we are very comfortable with the syntax of creating a delegate and then making it point to a function and then invoking the delegate and, and we get all the, you know, basics strong about these delegates, then we will see how to apply this delegate to a real-time project and solve some real business problems. All right, now, since a delegate is a type say function pointer, meaning it points to a function, so we need a function. So let's go ahead and create a simple function. Now I have a simple function, public void, let's say, hello, and this function takes in a message of string type, let's say str message, and all this function does is output that message to the console. So console.writeline, str message so it prints that message to the console let's make it static so this is a static method and if you haven't um, you know watched my video series on methods and if you're new to methods I would strongly encourage you to watch the video tutorial on methods in this series okay now if you look at this method it has got the wide written type and it takes a string parameter okay now we know that a delegate is a is a function pointer. So to actually understand a delegate, you know, think of it, the syntax of a delegate is actually similar to a function. Okay. Now to create a structure, we use the struct keyword. To create a class, we use the class keyword. Similarly, if you want to create a delegate, you use the delegate keyword. Okay. So public delegate. Now to remember the syntax of the delegate, think of it as if it's a method with a delegate keyword. Okay, a method will have a written type, name of the method, and then any parameters. Okay, similarly, a delegate will also have a written type. Let's say void is the written type, and then the name of the delegate. Now, this delegate is going to point to this function. So, let's give it a meaningful name. You can give it any name, but let me give it as hello function delegate okay and then just like a method a delegate also takes in a parameter so and I'm going to pass it a string parameter that's it so if you look at this delegate you know apart from this delegate keyword it's actually like a method signature it has got the access modifier a return type name of the delegate or function whatever and then the parameter but if you put the delegate keyword there, it becomes a delegate. Meaning, this delegate now can be used, you know, to point to a function which has a similar syntax, I mean, similar signature. Now, this delegate can point to any function that has got void return type and takes in a string parameter. Okay, now, how do we make this delegate point to a function? 
okay to do that you have to create an instance of this delegate and this is where a delegate is similar to a class okay now if i have a customer class i can say customer c1 is equal to new customer c1 is the instance of that class similarly i can create an instance of this delegate so to create an instance of this delegate all you do is hello function delegate okay let's say delegate is equal to new hello function delegate and to the constructor of this delegate you pass in the name of the function to which you want this delegate to point to okay in our example i want this function to point to this hello method so i'm going to pass in that function name and if you look at the intellisense here okay the parameter that you are going to pass in should be a method name because that's a delegate okay and that method should have a void return type and it should take a string parameter so is our method confirming to that signature yes it has got void return type and it's taking in a string parameter so now i can pass this hello now to invoke that method all you do is invoke this delegate and if you look at this delegate it is expecting a string parameter to be passed in so when i try to call that delegate i have to pass in the string parameter so let's say hello from delegate so now what's going to happen this delegate call will actually internally behind the scenes it will automatically invoke this method and to this method it will pass this parameter and whatever this method has to do it will do its job in this case it will print that message onto the console so if i go ahead and run this now look at this hello from delegate we get that you know this is being printed by this method okay so it's it's very simple a delegate is a type safe function pointer we'll come back to type safe part in just a bit but let's understand this a delegate is a function pointer why is it called a function pointer because to this delegate you're passing in the name of the function which you want to invoke and then when you invoke this delegate since this delegate is pointing to that function that function get called automatically that's why delegate is called as a function pointer because this delegate is pointing to this function so this delegate is a function pointer but what do we mean by type safe function pointer okay actually in c sharp delegates are type safe function pointers what do we mean by that now let's say i have another method or let's take this method itself instead of the string return type i mean instead of the void return type i am saying the return type is going to be string now look at this i have already caught a red squiggly indicating that you know hello method has the wrong return type now this delegate if you look at the signature of this delegate it has a void return type and it, it expects a string parameter but if you look at this method to which this delegate is pointing this method has got a different signature it has got a string return type okay so the point to keep in mind is the signature of the delegate should match the signature of the function to which it points to if the signature of the method does not match then we get a compiler error like this so that's why a delegate is called as a type safe function pointer so the signature of the delegate should match the signature of the function to which it points to that's the reason delegates are called type safe function pointer look at this the moment i change that to void now the signature of this method matches the signature of this delegate hence the compiler warning goes away okay so let's go back to the slides now you might be wondering okay why all this complexity now all i want is i want to print this message hello from delegate by calling you know this hello method now why do i have to declare a delegate create an instance of that and into the instance i want to pass this method and then call the delegate okay so there are so many steps why do you want to do that you know instead of all this simply say hello and pass in the message hello from delegate okay which is actually very easy to do and you get the expected output but then here we are trying to learn the delegates okay so actually delegates 
give us a lot of flexibility in real-time projects okay which we will be exploring in a later session so don't worry about that piece now okay so that's why we're trying to understand the basics of delegates here okay so what is a delegate a delegate is a type safe function pointer that is it holds a reference or a pointer to a function and the signature of the delegate must match the signature of the function the delegates points to otherwise you get a compiler error and this is the reason why delegates are called as type safe function pointer and if you look at it a delegate is very much similar to a class you can create an instance of it and when you do so to the constructor of the delegate you pass in the name of the function that you want your delegate to point to and a, a tip that i follow to remember you know the syntax of the delegate it's very much similar to the syntax of the method except that it has a delegate keyword within that just like a method it has got a written type name of the method or delegate and then the parameters with a delegate keyword and this is that simple example that we have seen okay if you look at this delegate it has got signature very much similar to a method with the delegate keyword and here we are creating an instance of this delegate and to the constructor of the delegate we pass in the name of the function and this function's signature must confirm to the signature of the delegate otherwise we get a compiler error that's why we call a delegate is a type safe function pointer and then to invoke the delegate we just invoke the delegate and pass in the string message which will behind the scenes automatically invoke the function to which this delegate is pointing to all right on this slide you can find some resources for asp.net and c sharp interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day